Welcome back. This is a continuation of my previous video about how to solve related rates problems in calculus. So I went over the steps that you can go through to solve a related rates problem. Draw a picture, if that's appropriate. Label everything that changes as a variable. Write an equation that tells how these variables are related. Write down what you know and what you're trying to find. Differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to t, and then plug in the numbers you have and solve for what you're trying to find. So, now for another example of that kind of thing. A rocket is launched vertically and is tracked by a radar station which is located on the ground three miles from the launch site. What is the vertical speed of the rocket at the instant when its distance from the radar station is five miles? and this distance is increasing at a rate of 5,000 miles per hour. So here's a picture. We've got a rocket that's being launched vertically, going straight up into the air, and it's being tracked by a radar station, which is located on the ground three miles away from the site where the rocket was launched from. Now, we want to label everything that's changing here with a variable. Pick a letter to stand for that thing and think of that letter as a function of t. So one thing that's changing is how high up the rocket is, how far up it's gone, and I'm calling that a. Now I notice this looks like one side of a right triangle. The side along the bottom I can call that B, but it's not changing. It's the three miles from the radar station to the launch site. And that's not changing. No matter how far up in the air the rocket goes, it's always going to be three miles from here to here. But the third side, the hypotenuse of this triangle, is also changing. As the rocket gets higher and higher up, it's also getting farther and farther away from where the radar station is. So that's also changing, and I'm going to label that C. Now, the equation that tells how these things are related to one another comes from the Pythagorean theorem. Since this is a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, but first let's Pay attention to what we're trying to find here. The question here is, what is the vertical speed of the rocket? That is, how fast is this distance from the ground up to where the rocket is now? How fast is that distance changing? So we want to find the rate of change of A here, which means we want to find dA dt, the rate of change of A with respect to time at the instant when its distance from the radar station, that's what I've labeled C here, is five miles. And this distance, C here, is increasing at a rate of 5,000 miles per hour. So we want to find dA dt when C is five and when dC dt is 5,000. Now, like I said, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to come up with an e equation relating these things to one another. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And since b is not changing, it's just a constant three miles, I can go ahead and put that number three in there. So it's a squared plus three squared, or nine, that's equal to c squared. But I do not want to go ahead and plug in five for c because that is changing. C isn't always 5. As the rocket goes up, C is getting bigger and bigger. It's changing. It's different numbers of miles at different times. We're just interested in the, interested in the precise instant when it is equal to 5. So at this point, I'm going to take this equation and differentiate both sides with respect to T. I'm thinking of these letters A and C as standing for functions of t, things that are changing over time, so they're functions of time. And so when I take derivatives of both sides of this equation, 
with respect to t, well, the derivative of a sum is the sum of the derivatives. The derivative of something to a power is the power times the something to the power minus one times the derivative of the something. And of course, the derivative of a constant, just a number by itself, is zero. So when I differentiate on the left, I get two times a to the first power times the derivative of a, so 2a dA dt, plus zero. And that's equal to, on the right side, two times c to the first power times the derivative of c, 2c dc dt. Now, one thing I noticed right away is that both sides of this equation have a two in front of them. They both have a factor of two, so I can just go ahead and divide that out. And I can plug in, well, dA dt is what we're trying to find. So I'm not gonna plug in anything for that. That's what I'm trying to solve for. But I can plug in five for c, and I can plug in 5,000 for dc dt. And uh-oh, what about a here? They didn't give me a number to plug in for a, and that's not the thing I'm trying to find. What do I do with that? Well, this is an example of where you might have to go back to the original equation and use that to come up with that missing number to put in for a. So if we go back to a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and remember b was just three. And now we're talking about at the specific instant when c is five. Then we can say a squared plus three squared equals five squared. So a squared plus 9 equals 25. Subtract 9 on both sides, you get a squared equals 16. So a must be the positive square root of 16, namely 4. Now we know what to put in for a. It's 4. So 4 times dA dt equals 5 times 5,000, which would be 25,000. Then divide both sides of this equation by 4, and we get that dA dt equals 25,000 divided by 4, which is 6,250. So that's our answer. That's what we were trying to find. dA dt, the vertical speed of the rocket, how fast a here was changing, and we found it. The speed is 6,250 miles per hour. So I hope that's enough to give you the idea. That's all the examples I had prepared. But if you want to see more examples, message me or com leave a comment, maybe I can show you some more. But that gives you the general idea of how these related rates problems work. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.